In this video, I'm going to teach you a contingency model so that you can have several profiles on your machine without getting blocked using ADS Power. ADS Power is a browser that will make your profiles untraceable. In other words, you can have several profiles on your machine without cross-referencing information with Facebook ad. If you're an affiliate or you're a black advertiser and you need to have several accounts on your machine without cross-referencing information, you need an untraceable browser. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to install ADS Power, how to link to it correctly, how to configure it and how to upload a profile to it. If you're not subscribed, subscribe now, leave a like, comment here if you have any questions, I'll answer them all. So, to sum up ADS Power, what will it do on your machine? It will allow you to create various profiles. I'll show you this in practice here. So each profile will be like a computer. In other words, it won't let you cross-reference information on your machine. You'll have several profiles. So let's say you advertise in profile one, encapsulated affiliate, in profile two, you drop. If you get blocked on one of these accounts and you don't have the right contingency, you could run the risk of getting blocked on both accounts. You've been blocked on one, but Facebook can take another account. That's why we use multi-login, which we call it, which will make your profiles untraceable. In this case, if you block account one, account two won't be affected. So that's the contingency model I'm going to teach you here. If you're looking for a more complete paid traffic course, you're lost. You don't know how to create a campaign, how to sell online. I'll recommend my course. The link is here in the description. Take a look, okay? Without further ado, let's go straight to my PC screen now. Just do exactly what I'm gonna tell you here. Well guys, the first thing you're gonna do is pause the video. And in the link here in the description, I'm gonna leave the correct link for you to download ADS Power, okay? It's this link here, register through it, okay? It's here in the description, just come here, copy. And paste it into your browser. This is the first step you'll take. It will open this screen here. Here you can fill in your details, very easy. Enter your email address. Here it will ask you to verify your email address. In other words, you will receive a code in your email once you've typed it in, copy the code and paste it in. The password you use there, okay? You can keep this here, you can leave this code here, it's our code. They'll see that you've registered here and then I'll ask them for a discount, okay? So if you've already registered, you'll get the discount. Click on read and click here on register, okay? Or you can, if you're already logged into Google or Gmail, click here, register via Gmail and it'll work just as well. Remember to keep this code here, you don't need to change anything. You can do it either via Gmail or Facebook. Well guys, once you've registered and got everything right, you can click here on download. Here it will download ADS Power. If you use Mac, you can select Mac, Windows or Linux. In this case, it's Windows, I click here. Once it's downloaded, I click on run and then I click here on agree and move on. It will install on the machine. I'm not going to install it because I've already got it installed here, but just click here on proceed through all the steps. Well guys, once you've downloaded and installed it on your machine, you're going to open it, right? So you'll type in ADS Power, it'll open, and now I'm gonna show you how to create a profile here. Of course, you already need a login, password, and profile. This is just to avoid cross-referencing, it won't give you the profile. If you need a profile, you're blocked, I'll leave the description link here, agenciarock.com, where you can buy a profile and IBM to advertise again. We'll send you a tutorial, how it works, everything, but back here, then you'll come to ADS Power, new profile, in the left-hand corner. Here it will ask you for a name, this is optional, so you can put something just to identify it or generally put the name of the profile, the name of the file and the date, just so I don't get lost in the heat. Here, I'm not going to change anything if you use Prox, if you need Prox, there's a link here in the description too, to Prox for you to buy, but for now you don't need it, so it's fine, you won't need to change anything. Just leave it here as it is and give it an okay. It will create a file here, see? So everything we do in profile one will be inside this browser. So I'm going to click on open. So here it's opened as if it were a new machine. I can press Ctrl Shift B here on the keyboard to show the favorites, which is optional. And here you can see that it doesn't have any browsing data. It's like a new PC, see? So what are you gonna do? You're going to enter your login and password here and log in to Facebook, right? If you don't have a profile, link here in the description. If you already have one, log in with your browser. You can then save the shortcuts here to make it easier in the bookmarks bar. I'll save it here and you can save the login on your PC. Let's say you bought another profile or you're making a contingency, you want more profiles, you'll come here to new profile and do the same thing. Name, give it an okay and it will log you in here within ADS power separated by profile. 
If you like this video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and remember to register here using the link I left in the description so that everything goes smoothly. Another alternative to ADS power is Dolphin, which we also use a lot. I'll leave its link here in the video description too. It's free for up to 10 profiles. So that's an alternative to ADS power and Dolphin. I use both. So that's it. If you like this video, leave a like here, leave a comment here about which multi-login you use, if you already use it or not, okay? Godspeed, success, and see you next time.